Hey guys, it's me, EOD Gaming here, and if you have ever wondered like what is the more efficient relic domains to farm, and are there any main stats that you should keep and not throw away, uh, so that you are deciding what efficient way to actually handle your relic situation on your account, I'm going to be giving you a huge guide to this, and this was not easy to prepare. In order to prepare something like this, we actually had to do manually, one line by one line, and this was fully done by me. I'm supposed to be on break uh, for a rest, but then I decided I'm just going to do this content out. I think it's going to be super helpful for a lot of you trying to plan your relic schedule. So I basically put on like every single character in the game, what I think their best preferred set is uh, for four piece, two piece, their main stats that they want, and even an alternative as well. But I'm not going to bore you with all of that. That's the benefit of being a viewer on EOD Gamer channel, I am always straight to the point, so I'll tell you exactly my summary of my insights. First things first, if you are talking about the most efficient domain to farm for Simulator Universe, you can see here, out of all of the, the relic sets in the game, the ones that are super super popular is Firmament Frontline Glamour 18, Broken Kill as 8, Panicony Land of Dreams as 8. Out of them, Simulated Universe 8 is both Firmament Frontline Glamour and Panicony Land of Dreams, which makes up 26 characters in the game want to use this two-piece as their main set. So 26 out of 45, you can kind of tell it's more than 50% already wants to use um, this set. And you can see like five, five stars is, uh, is like even more, like 15 out of 25 want to use this. Like, so about 60% want to use uh, either one of these from Simulator Universe 8. Uh, for the four stars, there is a bit more versatility over there, but generally across the board, you want to do Simulator Universe 8 if you are just talking about pure efficiency purpose. In fact, one is like a DPS one, one is like a support, so you can kind of build a full well-rounded account already. So that is the first insight. The second insight is a bit more interesting because it's very, very split. You can see that the four piece is where it gets a bit more varied. A lot of uh, four piece available and there are many like two piece, two piece combinations also, but the sake for the sake of simplicity, main stats, four piece, they are very popular for the for the sets is Pioneer Diver of Dead Waters, 10 out of 45. Messenger Traversing Hackerspace is 5 out of 45. And followed by Prisoner in Deep Confinement with his 5 out of 45. So there is no clear domain that is that you should just farm it and skip the rest. Because previously it was like the Messenger Traversing Hackerspace class, for example, the Longevous Disciple. But now that's like 7 out of 45, not like super dominant anymore. Pioneer Diver of Dead Waters, the newest one that came out is like 10 out of 45. Plus the Watchmaker is like not as good. So it's like 11 and so on and so forth. Prisoner in Deep Confinement together with uh, as the, the Ash Blazing Grand Duke. None of them are clear standout winners anymore. So, but you should do any of the three latest domain, which is the one that consists any of these top three, depending on what your account uh, needs. But this information, not super helpful. It just tells you what are the more efficient domains. It's a great start. But the next thing that we want to know is what are the main steps that are actually most desirable and should probably keep in your account. So I know a lot of charts here, but let me just break it down very simply for you. Let's look at the, go from left to right. So start from top left then top bottom. Right here, you see in the top left, preferred main stats. Chances are if you have a crit rate, crit damage main stat uh, gear that you have, you want to keep it because more than half of the characters in Honkai Star Rail you see here, 21 out of 45 use well, one either crit rate, crit damage, plus another three that wants crit damage. In, uh, as their preferred main stat in Honkai Star Rail. So more than half characters want either crit rate or crit damage. So chances are you want to keep those. Other than that, it's kind of like very, very well split across the board. Their uh, HP defense is still like the, probably the second most useful out of all of them as the main stat. Very surprising. No one would really expect HP and defense as a body main stat to be so popular, but uh, it actually is for a lot of support characters that want a bit more sustain as well. The rest of them are pretty much spread out evenly. Um, I think I classify healing here instead of outgoing healing. So outgoing healing is supposed to be like five. I have this additional category, which I will settle off later on. This database was completely done by me. So there is a bit of like careless mistakes in terms of not classifying it perfectly. Uh, and if you're finding this video helpful and insightful so far, give me a like, subscribe, and give me a comment also if you want to see more of such information uh, out for you guys too. But anyways, on the bottom left here, preferred main stat is the boots. Uh, chances are if you have speed, you want to keep that for sure, regardless of what set you have, even if it's like the more popular relic sets or whatnot. Uh, speed is used by almost every single character. They can use it as their preferred set. Uh, alternatively, this you can like swap out for like attack, HP for some of them. Attack as the preferred stat is only used by three characters. These are generally characters that are follow up in nature, like Clara, like probably Herta, Himiko. These characters maybe are slightly geared towards attack. 
but by and large most of them are able to make do with speed so that's something we want to know for the flight the four piece means stats that vary keep your crit rate stuff as as you know hp defense is not worthless and speed is is basically king for boots for most of them the link rope is where it gets a little bit more interesting uh, let's start with the planner sphere here bottom right which is much more easier to understand the elemental damage bonus is of course as we know is like speed across the board what matters more is whether the character can use that set uh, in order for it to pop off so it's like fire you make sure that you get the right main stat don't just like look at the main stat you want a main set to be good too other than that hp and defense is actually very usable for the planner sphere so don't like toss it out of the water a lot of support characters actually like uh, hp and defense generally characters that don't do damage but need some si sort of sustained survivability hp and defense is very good um, that is something to note as well attack percentage probably is like the most general generalistic you can like substitute elemental damage bonus for attack if you are really really short on resources or certain conditions uh, exist but by and large uh, i would say that planosphere is quite even across the board generally most characters will be able you'll be able to make use of most of them for some sort of character so don't have to think too much about the planosphere efficiency for this part link rope is where it gets interesting most characters in the game want either attack energy restoration and break is like a niche ones so attack if you have it ERR energy restoration keep those those are like super good out of all of the like 45 characters in the game 42 of them want either attack or uh, uh, energy restoration rate in fact like the ones that want break can do with either one of them so only one character probably only wants to max out on HP the rest of them can do attack and, and ERR as well uh, which is very interesting to note so that is a quick summary of the desirable main stats to help you guys know what you want on top of that i'm going to give you even more information i hope you guys are, are so far doing good with the data that we are having so far um, the spread the four piece what is more important is then taking both what we have in terms of the popular sets in the game and what are the main stats that are desirable we are going to combine both of them now to see actually which domain has the least amount of wastage out of all of them so how i do this is i basically plot like the different sets here on the on in rows and in columns i basically have like the different stats and any of you who are like just listening to this in the background don't worry i will narrate out as much of the analysis as possible but if any of you who are like watching this actively pay attention to the screen now it's probably going to be quite interesting to see which has lesser amounts of wastage so as we know like the more popular sets are like pioneer diver of dead waters here one of the top few but one thing to know about Pioneer Diver of Dead Waters is a very concentrated set that almost every single character is looking for crit damage, crit rate. So this kind of sets might not be super, super versatile in terms of um, having a huge amount of non-wastage because at the end of the day, you're probably going to throw the rest away, which is kind of a bit of a waste. So what I'm looking for is actually stuff that is spread out as many as you can across the different kind of categories. One of them, of course, will be Messenger Traversing Hackerspace. You are split between the offensive crit damage um, gear as well as a defensive HP and defense gear for ma Messenger Traversing Hackerspace. I also see a lot of two-piece, two-piece that are like alternatives that one Messenger of Traversing Hackerspace as a set so that is something that we can note as well um, quite a lot of people don't mind this set prisoner and deep confinement again is very very focused on attack and effect hit rate not much else um, so basically these are my my opinions i think messenger traversing hackerspace probably is the most versatile out of all the sets in terms of least amount of uh, efficiency or, or wastage that you can because you can use both the offensive and defensive for certain amount of supports and hp defense is like one two crit damage is like another one so you have three out of the very many various main stats that you can but by and large you're going to have quite a bit of wastage as we can see here um, not everyone has like using all of these different stats so little people use attack uh, and effect hit rate you can see here only like one and three and they are all concentrated in this prisoner deep confinement domain here so if you're not farming prisoner in deep confinement chances are you're going to just waste your attack and uh, effect hit rate main stats for the most part uh, unless Pioneer in Divers of Deep Water has like one and Genius of Brilliant Star also has one things like for Silver Wolf or something. So that is uh, some of my opinions here. Uh, Passerby Wonder Cloud here is a four for outgoing healing. So if you ever want to get Passerby Wandering Cloud and what this tells me is if you are looking to like just snipe off a certain main stat, just use your Relic Exchange, just fix the main stat 
to get the the ones from like very inefficient domains like passable by one cloud you don't want to farm this domain just like snipe one outgoing healing main stat and you're done don't ever go back kind of thing especially since it's a supportive gear you don't really need too much of the main stat whereas stuff that are like spread out you don't mind like going in or even not fixing the main stat just getting like random stuff when you're using the the exchange and stuff like that for the this is for the four piece here this is the top one was of course for your body and the bottom one here is for your your boots out of all of them the one that is actually the most efficient to farm is genius of brilliant stars you have some characters that want just attack some characters that want speed speed and attack both okay this is like super good so anything that is building up both attack speed or even the hp cat 3 are super super efficient so far i see like genius of brilliant stars looks like the most efficient so far since both attack and speed is still usable uh, other than that i guess pioneer divers of dead water is also good because you have both speed attack here um, prison deep confinement is also pretty decent here speed or attack both are, are preferable and that is what i'm really looking for so basically anything that has a high speed or attack here in this category or using like either one of these for hp here longevous disciple is probably the best if you're looking for hp um, boots you want to go actually for for the longevous disciple that's the one that is preferred the none of them else use like hp and unfortunately defense is not very useful currently as of uh, 2.0 for the boots most defense characters will just much rather like use uh, speed as well okay and now jumping to the 2p section here this is where it gets a little bit interesting the top here is the link rope the bottom is the planner sphere and if you notice 17 characters out of the 45 characters in the game want a firmament frontline glamour attack link rope this is super competitive. Everyone's fighting for this. If you are looking for a first one to get, like you want to like fix a certain relic main stat and stuff to get a good one, chances are getting an attack link rope for Firmament Frontline Glamour is going to help you out in some way, especially if you are able to find the corresponding elemental damage bonus for the, the Planisphere as well. So farm this domain, any attack that you have, just keep it, roll it, check it, whether it's going to be a good one. Uh, out of all the characters, 17 of them likely is going to want it. Uh, we can of course see like what are the characters that do it and stuff by like double clicking here but anyways going on we can see that broken kill a lot of them want if uh energy restoration rate uh it seems like more supportive characters want to use broken kill and energy restoration rate so if you have you want to snipe it go for energy restoration rate for this chances are it's going to be useful by a lot of characters as well and the rest of them break down panicony land of dreams you can see support sets generally want the err uh, and it's very clear offensive care offensive sets like for moment frontline glamour want the attack Defensive sets, supportive sets, once the ERR, like Broken Kill and Panic e. So there's no like real efficiency here. The only exception probably is like Kingdom of Banditry Talia, which is the break effect set, which wants both like attack and break. So you get some versatility over there. Um, but by and large, not too much. Rutanen Arena also like split between attack and one character Blade can use the HP. Other than that, everything is like pretty concentrated. A lot of wastage for the, the Link Rope as well. For the planet sphere here, it's very, very distributed. Of course, there's not much use for me to analyze uh, planet sphere because it's based on like who can use that main set. Um, it's, it's really much more like dependent on whether the character can use that set rather than the... It's kind of like intuitive because if you are fire, use fire, you ice, use ice and stuff like that. So I'm not going to go elaborate too much in that. Of course, there are uh, caveats then there are special cases. Like for example, you see those that are attack here. Some of them are using defense and whatnot. Um, which we can talk about in a bit as well. Which brings me to the last point here, that this is an interactive graph that I have. Let's say I wanted to filter by Planisphere now. I want to see all the characters that can maybe use the Planisphere's HP and Defense as their preferred main stat. Because I know Elemental Damage Bonus is kind of like simple to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, for example, see what characters want to use HP and Defense as main stats. I can see here, oh, it's Esther, Bronya, Fu Shen, Hanya, Ranmi, Sparkle, and Yukong. These are all Harmony characters. So, or, or like a uh, uh, preservation character like Fu Shen. So generally, most of them want to use a defensive one like this. And if I, for example, click this one here, HP is used by the, the sustained characters, Bai Lu, Huo Huo, Lynx, and Natasha as well. So it's very interesting insights that I gather. HP defense generally is used by uh, these few people as well. And for example, let's just say that we wanted to check that question out and I'm just showing you guys this information uh, for you all to know as well. If I want to see, for example, okay, let's not let's not do this. I want to search for the two piece, for moment frontline glamour. I want to see who are the ones that want the attack uh, link rope why there's like so many so i'm just going to click this and i'm going to filter by uh, character names and we can see a lot of them are like dps characters they want to use the attack for this set so a very very popular uh, set that everyone can use 
the only one that wants to use effect he, uh, energy restoration probably is Misha, so that he has uptime to use that his massive amounts of ice break damage that he does. Um, but I think he can probably be used for attack as well if you really wanted to play like Misha as well. Um, and we can of course have like, see the different characters that want to use Broken Kill. Generally supportive characters in general want the ERR for them. Sparkle, Bronya both want Broken Kill as their main priority. And if you guys are wondering like how I did this and you want to learn like how to build charts like this for yourself as well, check out our guide on EOD Money where we actually went into detail on how you can actually get started as a beginner. Otherwise, if you are interested in the data that you find here and you want to see more of such videos, check out our channel as well. We have two other videos, lovely for data. We go into in-depth on all these like charts, how do I populate this, what do they mean, and what is stat efficiency, what are the most efficient characters in the game. Going down to the base stats, check that video out. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.